Palmer, Ohio man is in custody after confessing to killing his five-year-old son with a baseball bat after hearing voices. The incident occurred around 2pm on Thursday the 25th of March when 31-year-old Matthew Ponomarenko contacted 911 explaining that he just murdered his five-year-old son at home located in the 4700 block of Russell Avenue. The authorities quickly descended on the home where they found the lifeless body of Jax Ponomarenko where Matt was arrested at the scene. The disturbing call to the dispatcher unit showed he was shaken up after hearing voices in his head telling him to kill his son. The first chilling words he uttered to the shock dispatcher during the five minute call were, I just killed my son. I'm hearing voices he says after being asked what he means. Matt says he's dead, in the living room, while he continues breathing heavily on the phone and asking for officers to be sent to the house. When he was questioned about why he killed his son, he responds, I don't know, and said there was nobody in the house with them at the time. The house belongs to Jax's mother, but the young boy lived with his grandparents. Matt had been dropped off at the residence earlier that day. Matt continued to remain on the phone, but refused to answer any further questions, other than to say I'm shaking. Four minutes into the call he finally says, They're here, as he was waiting on the front porch for the authorities to arrive. The child's uncle, Jonathan Cherney, said, Matt was recently released from a behavioural health centre and was off his medication. The 31-year-old had reportedly spent time in several facilities and struggled with mental health issues and addiction. He added that Matt appeared to be fine and was vibrant, completely content, when his mother dropped him off earlier that day. All of a sudden we get hit with all of this, he said. He added that Jax had autism and had learned to communicate using a tablet. Jax was also involved in a child endangerment case which was brought against his father on the 20th of July 2017, when Matt and his then one-year-old son were found naked on a local road. It was reported that Matt's mother contacted the authorities, saying that he was having a mental breakdown, and running and swearing at people who drove past him. As he was doing this, he left his son in the middle of the road. Matt later explained to the investigators that he had taken meth, psychedelic mushrooms, and PCP, and he was admitted to hospital for treatment. Jax was then placed into the care of relatives. Matt was found guilty of child endangerment and ordered to pay fines from the 2017 incident. The Department of Children and Families, who had previously been involved in helping the family, ceased contact in 2019 when they closed their investigation into Matt. Matt is charged with aggravated murder and will be appearing in the Palmer Municipal Court on Monday. A man was arrested in Lebanon, Missouri on Wednesday for allegedly killing his boss, dismembering him, and setting his body on fire. 30-year-old Shane Norman of Eldridge has been charged for murdering 33-year-old Nathan Young of Webster County in November last year. Young's body was discovered on the 6th of November 2020 in a creek bed off Kingfolk Road with his hands, feet, and head removed, with signs of an attempt to burn the body. Norman did those things so the authorities wouldn't be able to identify the body. The authorities allege that Norman shot Young in the back of the head with a shotgun before removing the body parts. The sheriff's office said that Norman worked for Young at his welding business. They also said that he was on probation at the time of the murder. An autopsy confirmed Young died of a gunshot to the head. The shotgun used in the attack has not been recovered, however. The authorities also said there was still a tattoo vaguely showing, which matched a missing person from that week, and they believe that tattoo belonged to Young, and that's how the investigation began. A friend of Young told deputies they had seen Norman driving around town in Young's truck. Deputies searched the truck and reportedly found a saw with no blade, as well as what appears to be muscle, fat, hair follicles and blood. DNA found on the saw in the truck matched that of Young's. It is said that Norman is not cooperating with the authorities in the investigation. Norman is being held in the Luckley County Jail without bond as the investigation continues.